All right, we are live doing a set analysis. I'm actually really, 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 really curious about uh, doing this set analysis between Leo and Simsora. Because Ike was considered good at the time before Leo won the tournament. People think, oh my god, he's, you know, a lot of, some people, keep in mind, some people think he's, like, broken or top tier. But I feel like this set gives great insight into the strengths and flaws of Ike and also the crazy adaptability of Samsora but also how it's hard to maintain the kind of level of play that Simsora does, especially since he had to play like a ton of sets to get to this point. It shows the advantage and disadvantage of being in winner side of grants versus losers. Anyways, let's get into it. Alright, Ike versus Peach. Uh, okay, I have an idea. Let me do this. Okay, so my initial thought on this set, just to start, keep in mind I do play Ike in this game, I drop Sheik unfortunately, so... I still play her as a secondary, but I don't think she works out that well. Anyways, the thing about this matchup is I feel like Ike does really well in neutral against Peach as long as he's smart about what buttons he's hitting and where. Like, he can't just spam there because then Peach will punish him really hard with, like, float cancels and turnups and dares and stuff. But if you're smart about it and put your aerials in the right spot, Peach really struggles to get in on this matchup. But where she shines is against Ike's disadvantage. Her in particular, I feel like she can punish him really hard. And I think Sam Shore shows this in the first two games. Finals. We are back here. Pokemon All right, so standard City. neutral play. Good parry, but you're not going to get a strong punish off of parry. I'm okay with that, honestly. I know some people are like, oh, parry needs more rewarding. I feel like it needs a little bit more of a reward in order for it to be more properly utilized as the mechanic it was intended for. However, I like how it functions now. I don't think it's broken. Maybe a bit under-tuned or under underwhelming, but overall, it's a fine mechanic. Both players have seen that was a... I don't know if that was a misinput or a bad S-Smash. Anyways, uh, Leo reacts, gets a quick grab, and Ike has some nice follow-ups off of grab. All this bracket, up air, one fair, that's true. I think he was a little late, and Sam Sora tried to jump out, so Sam Sora doesn't have a jump now, but good job on Leo getting this quick, nice 35. Win, and Leo okay, that was a read on a on-stage recovery, either Peach Bomber or a drop-down aerial or whatever, and most likely it would have killed. I I'm, I'm not joking, it probably would have killed. <laughs> So, uh, but anyways, uh, up B will knock Leo away. My goodness, <laughs> already going for the forward smash. Oh, yeah. Also, shout outs to HBox commentary. I know a lot of people will like, will like, you know, rag on him or whatever, but honestly, HBox did a good job, and Vicky too. You know, I, I know it is hard, in my opinion, having, you know, done commentary, only on a local level though. I've never done more than like, maybe like a regional level. It is hard on commentary not to force hype. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, commentary is bad or whatever, but it's it's not easy. So you have to give them props, and it takes practice. So I think, you know, personally, I thought the commentary was fine for this set. I thought they did a great job. The ledge. Going for that, frame one. that fair was safe. My <laughs> goodness. <laughs> right, wait, 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 hold up. Let's go, let's back up on this ledge pressure real quick. So he gets this combo real quick. And Leo Tries to read this F smash. So My goodness. He double jumps because he doesn't understand so he doesn't have enough time to land and then try to short hop in air, so he double jumps immediately for pressure. So Sam Sora has a normal get up here, but he doesn't have a time to rack to Leo and he has to respect Ike's face. And look how close I was. If he had spaced it a little bit better, Sam Sora would have gotten hit. I, I don't I feel like Sam Sora was just not ready for that situation. Like he was literally thrown off stage out of the gate, so he it took him a little while to like get his bearings real quick. <laughs> And then immediate spot dodge, that's that's a classic. You miss a move in this game, you spot dodge. It worked in Smash 4, it works in this game too. And it's better than shielding now. Uh, and he almost missed that dare, actually. Did he try to down tilt this? I think, I, yeah, he tried to down tilt. Alright, that fair was safe. But uh, Leo, I think, picked like an offensive option and got jabbed for it here. I'm pretty sure. Ready, going for the forward smash. Oh, yeah. Forewarning, this is going to be a long set. I'm going to be pausing and stopping a lot for like in-depth analysis. I know some people don't do that and prefer more of a play-by-play, -play, but I really want to understand the interactions of the game as it happens and the decisions that the players make while they're making it and what their thought process might be. Not what's optimal, what they're thinking and why they're picking the decisions they're making in the set. You know, how the adaptation is working. The ledge. Going for that frame one disc okay, yeah, he dropped shield. Alright, another parry. Another parry. And he's not attempting to punish after the parry, which is really smart on Leo's part. And then he jumps because he knows that he's probably going to pick like a float cancel or a grounded option. Two parries. And gets a punish for it. So, right here, this is smart play. Parry. Parry. Call 
solid grounded option and get your combo with Ike. You know, Ike is a very basic character, but if you're a smart player and you understand how your opponent is playing, he has really scary tools to punish you for bad options or bad habits, and he can condition you really well. Two parries, all right. And that's another thing Meaty to know. thirty percent, I think. Oh, did he wave land? I think he wave land. Two parries, all right. And that's another thing to know. We were talking about. And yeah, so he covered the jump. And I don't, I don't know if uh, Sam Sword was expecting a wave land from MK Leo. I think MK Leo was wave landing to put on more pressure because Ike's really good in that position because you do falling there, falling fair. He can, you know, pressure. He can get over you. He can get behind. It's a really good position. So it was good on Sam Sword to put that fair out to force Leo to respect that area above Peach. Hey, Leo's parries. He is up. Sam Sword tried to parry that. Parries, all right. And that's another right thing here. to know. We were talking about so after the fair, parries. right there. Cause, Cause, look how he, uh, look how he tried to kind of put up shield, and then immediately drop shield. He was trying to parry that. He was a little early on it. If he was a little later, that would have been a parry punish. But I think he still gets a punish here. He is absolutely no, he doesn't. Really? Absolutely on a roll. We saw. That's crazy. I think MK Leo got. That's another thing to hmm. know. We were talking about MK Leo's parries. You know, I can kind of see why. You can't grab in that situation. All you have is turn up. And turn up kind of is a bit slow to throw. So I understand why Leo got away with that one. He is absolutely. And then he shields. And then Samsor is not, not messing with that. He rolls out. He's like, I'm not I'm not messing with Ike, narrowing my shield. I'm just going to roll out. He doesn't attempt to punish. He could have punished, but Samsor hasn't quite figured out the matchup or how to play against Leo's Ike. So he's just playing it safe, and he doesn't want to give Leo more advantage. So I'm okay with that decision. That was a good decision. Turn up, punishes the Nair. And look, Samsor is putting out fares now. Now that he's more comfortable, he's putting out fares to force Ike to not jump in that situation and put pressure on him, and Leo already recognizes that and is starting to kind of play safer and back away. He tries to go for a grab there. That was good spacing on Sam Sora's part. If he had done a fair, landed straight down, he would have gotten grabbed. So Sam Sora, really good spacing to fair and then fade away afterwards. He jumps again, another fair. At this point, Sam Sora is adapting really well. Another fade back. Look at this. Rolls, dashes back. If Leo had ran a little bit farther forward, he could have gotten this dash attack. And that's the thing, is that Ike has a hard time punishing dashes, like dashbacks, because Ike has really good options, but his air speed and his ground speed isn't the greatest, and he doesn't have great burst options. So what he has to do is he kind of has to slowly pressure you to the edge of the stage until you have no more space. So a lot of Ike players, including myself, get baited by dashbacks. A dashback and then a dash forward option. Because boom, grab, back air, now Ike's off stage. Ah, uh, could Sam sort of done I mean... I feel like he was waiting for Leo to do a double jump option here, but Leo just recovered with side B. Here, though, I feel like he should have gone for... Ah, I don't know. Sam Storm was playing it safe, and he's waiting for Leo to put out Nairs and then whiff punish him for it. So, it you know, I know some players would look at this, you know, by itself and be like, well, why isn't he pressuring him on the ledge? Or why isn't he trying to edge guard him? It's because Sam Storm is expecting an option from Leo, and that's Nair. So because of that, he's playing around that by giving Leo more space than he needs to, even if he sometimes gives up ledge options for it. Nairs. <laughs> right here. So, Nair, Nair, Nair. That was a good turn up throw. Gets the grab. Uh, Leo had stage control and just put pressure on his same sort of punish properly. Down throw. Nair. Oh, that was a... Because he gets a confirm? Oh, here, I'm missing a confirm. Oh, okay. Actually, I'm very curious about how this interaction went. Because right here... I, I'm so happy that YouTube has this function. Okay, so right here, Sam Sora was predicting a jump. A little late on it. Because of that, Leo gets in there. The problem with playing against Ike is that you have to figure out when he's going to do something, not just what he's doing. That's why it's kind of... I know people say just parry Nair or just punish Nair or just whiff punish Nair, but it's not as simple as just whiff punish or just parry it. 
you have to figure out Ike's timing. And that's the counterplay. That's the back and forth. If you're predictable with it, which a lot of Ike players will be, and a lot of players in general, if you have very you know habitual timings, then you'll get punished for it every time. But Leo's good about changing his timing just a little bit here and there to force uh, mix-ups to get good punishes. Oh, Nair, oh my Nair, wow. up there. That's true. This is so good. Nair, Nair, oh up there. Wow. Doesn't kill, but... Another wave lane? Oh, oh my goodness, it falls wow. on the platform. Stairway to uh, here's the thing. You know, Leffen mentioned it, and, you know, opinions on Leffen aside, whoever you are or whatever, Leffen made a really good point in that players kind of get too caught up in the ledge trapping phase because they're too nervous about going off and edge guarding because that's kind of a Smash 4 half of the law Smash 4 players have because Leo kind of just wasted his time here. Like, look what he does after that. He gets to confirm oh, the up there. Wow. And then he runs off, runs back, wave lands, it just completely ignores Peach in that situation, and then nares when he's no when you know Sam Sora's nowhere near him, you know, I, I you know I feel like maybe he was looking for an on stage setup, but that wasn't gonna happen. Sam Sora's gonna go to ledge, you know, at least if he had gone to ledge and started actively pressuring with like up airs at ledge, so that way he had to float off stage and then maybe like a short hop fair. He could have gotten an option, but Leo just essentially wasted an opportunity here. So you can see that a month into the game, even in grand finals, people aren't playing optimally yet, and well, and it's going to take a while to get to that point. For Leo, missed the wave land there, like you know. Sora, oh, oh my goodness, it falls wow. on the platform. I didn't mean to play so far again. Four. Like look, he just missed the wave land. Like he literally wastes all this time wave landing because you know he wants to, I guess. Leo, I'm not bashing Leo. He's a much better player than I am. But I'm seeing what could be better, both in his gameplay and everybody else's, possibly. This Nair was good to cover ledge, though. Knowing that you can get, honestly, with a platform in the middle, maybe on Battlefield, you get three of those in a row into an up air. I get scared by the moment. The more I see platform in the middle. Wow. He got hit by that? Three of those in a row uh, that dash attack probably was supposed to be falling fair or falling Nair. Because that happens a lot. I, it's, it's hard to, like you know, run off and do an attack at the time, especially since hold buffering is kind of a thing in this game, and there's a bit more input delay in this game that there was in Smash 4. Uh, up air, try to catch the landing, Leo just drifted around it. Wave land. Oh, he tried to back air that, but Leo, the same story is a bit faster. Right here, back air, you see the animation for it? Leo was a little faster. So a lot of times, in this game, you're going to be a little early or a little late. That doesn't mean you should get discouraged about doing something if you're just missing it by a millimeter. You should know what should have worked and not get discouraged for not doing it because it doesn't work, if that makes sense. You know, you have to recognize when something didn't work because your timing was off and whether something's not working because it's just a bad idea and concept. So anyway, good on Sam Sora for that Peach Bomber. Calls the rollback here. Because Leo's been landing on these platforms a lot, whether with Laveland or otherwise, and he's like, and he knew Leo wants stage, so he just watched the rollback and reacted. To further extend Boom. His Fair. Pressure with all the and all like that, but back onto the platform. Here's, here's, a, here's an interesting concept. When you're an advantage, it's okay to put out options, even if they're not going to work. Because what was Leo going to do if he missed this fair? Samsara put himself in a good position where he wouldn't get punished for it and still covered an option. So he got the best case scenario that he hit him, but even in worst case, if he missed or if Leo like immediately, you know, dropped off the platform and looked for an option, Samsara was pretty much safe. Extend his pressure with all the areas that he has. That was good. To further extend his pressure with That turn up was to cover Ike from recovering high. So he forced Ike at ledge. All the areas that he has. And then he also back air to cover him going to stage. So basically, he did that to cover those options and still kept stage and put Leo on ledge. Interesting. That up B was probably to call an immediate option. It's good damage for sure. Um, and not only that, but if Leo did it properly, which uh, if he had decided to drift back, he would have gone back to ledge. But he decided to drift forward because he thought Sam Sora, he thought he could hit Sam Sora after a, uh, not this thing. He could thought he could hit Sam Sora for fairing there, cause. I'm, not, I'm really not surprised or not. All the that he has, he has to cause right here, Sam Sora fares. I think Sam Sora thought he would jump, or do neutral get up in a jump, but instead he upbeat, and then he thought he could hit him for upbeat but missed. So Sam Sora pulled a turn up there because he had time for it. I'm not, I'm
and then tries to throw it because he tried to punish up B, but he didn't realize there wasn't enough time for it. So a lot of it, a lot of the interactions you're seeing is due to things like players having the right idea, but lack of knowledge at this point in the game. I'm really not surprised right now. Cross up near. I think Leo misses back here. Right here. <laughs> this is so funny. Sam Sorrow was pressuring Leo, but Leo wanted to get stage, so they both just picked options where they missed each other because they were both looking for something different, and they just happened to whiff on each other. And then right here, Leo misses back here. He fast fell a little too fast. Once you learn your uh, your fast fall and auto cancel windows, you'll miss a lot less of these. And it just comes down to practice. Spot dodge because he thought he was going to grab. You know, but Sam Sora run past him. And I know how people are, like, funny situation here. Most people are really worried about situations like this, where you can't run through your opponent if they're shielding or even just standing there. But if you have intangibility or invincibility, I think it's invincibility, not intangibility. You can run through opponents who are rolling or spot dodging. So, you know, it's ironic that this is probably a Smash 4 habit from Sam Sora because he's used to being able to run through opponents. If Leo had decided to shield here instead, or turn around and jab, this wouldn't have worked for Samsora. But because Leo spot dodged because he anticipated a grab, Samsora was able to run through him and get stage control back. Good back air. Called the jump. At this point, Samsora is fishing for it. Oh my gosh! But here is a really good example of why it's kind of scary to challenge Ike's side B. He died at 100. Oh my gosh! He was at 90, like 89 before this, and he died for trying to challenge it. This is why it's not easy to edgeguard Ike, despite the fact that his recovery is linear, because it's really, really risky. It's it's kind of like trying to uh, edgeguard Inkling, and that you could just die if you miss it. So. Gosh, he just slapped him in the and yeah, look at Sam Sword's reaction. He he knew what he was looking for. He was upset he got hit by it. Face so. side B. Throw a turn up at me one more time. I don't I... care if it's winky face. Who are you winking oh, at? Good punish. Right here. Be, throw a turn up at me one more time. I don't I, care if it's winky face. Saw the double jump. Who are you winking oh, at? Who are you winking? Ah, there it is. I, I really don't. Sometimes this mic will die off on me. It really frustrates me. It is what it is, though. Not fair! Forward Slapping him silly! Oh my god! Alright, I gotta pick up my interactions just a little fast. I'm already 20 minutes in, I'm not even past the first thought. <laughs> Down throw. Up air. Another up air to catch the double jump. I don't know what that dare was. So he does down throw. Up air. Up air to catch the double jump. Tries to fair. And then he tries to down air. I think that was a misinput. So he calls him a dash attack. Down throw fair. Another down throw nair. Right now Leo's playing really good pressure on him. Drop off double jump. Uh, fair. What was Leo doing on the ledge there? Dash back. Oh, he, okay. So he was. He thought he spaced himself better there. That's what happened. Good nair. Cross up nair with Ike is really good. So it's, you know, especially if you're not actively fishing for jumps or you're not in a position to fish for his jumps, I can cross you up with Nair and get really good pressure. Another Nair, good call out. Really Back air. Uh, Sansora is winning the close quarters with Peach because Peach has faster options, especially on the ground, than Ike does. But uh, if Leo can get his cross ups and his mix ups, and as long as he can keep him, you know, at that sword distance range as most sword rangers users do, you know, he's winning the game pretty much. So that's what it comes down to. Can Sam Sora get in and can he, you know, abuse Ike's disadvantage? That's around swords, especially Ike's sword covers so much. That was a good empty hop. He didn't take the bait and try to nair there. He knew that Sam Sora was looking for it, so he just figured it was safer to drop down and shield. Like the empty hop into shield defensive from MK Leo. Also, Watch. this is good on Sam Sora. Like, look at this. Shield. He shields here and understands he can't punish him in this situation, so he just decides to look for Leo, because Leo is really prevalent for wave landing on platforms, especially on Pokemon, so Samsora had the awareness to just wait for Leo to do that instead of trying to punish an option. So. From MK Leo. Samsora right now just saw if he has a space, he will pull out a turn up, but not right now. You need to hit him away first before you pull it because... Uh, misses the grab, because Samsora spot dodge, you know. Leo's kind of picky about his grabs, but it's also, if for Ike, kind of, it's kind of obvious 
when he wants to grab, so Sam Shore just kind of knew. Good air. That's so hard. That's so difficult for Sheik right here. It's so hard to float because you have to respect this option. And Leo reacted to this. He didn't even have to read that he got this nair here. He just reacted to it. Boom. Up air. Dies at like 96. Enough because that's why. That's why how easy it is for Ike right now to find these up airs. It's devastating. Right. Ah, that was a misinput. Sometimes you'll accidentally full hop in this game, and it's kind of frustrating. So, that is what it is. Leo didn't get punished. Right now, Sam Shore really feeling the pressure. Good rollback. That was to cover both an offensive option or a grab. And it, he, you know, Sam Shore even missed his dash attack. But look, Sam Shore dashing back, and Leo knows he's going to dash back, so he's dashing forward. Interesting side B. He didn't get punished for it, so. Down to Nair. That was really smart uh, disadvantage from Leo. Instead of trying to land with Nair or double jump or challenge with counter or side B, he just air dodges to a platform because he knows Peach isn't fast enough to punish it. Uh, I don't know what that back air was. I think that was a misinput. He wanted to nair instead, but because he was holding the uh, analog stick in the opposite direction, because he wanted to jump forward, then drift back, then nair, he ended up getting a back air instead. Because again, hold buffering exists in this game. Air dodge to get to the platform to safety. Good nair. Say, the covers the jump. So far, <gasps> I don't know why that works. I, I really don't. But I f <laughs> actually, I know why it works in theory, but I feel like it shouldn't work. Is is my is my opinion on it. But then again, that's the problem. A lot of players, like myself, will get caught up in what's optimal or what should and should not work instead of just playing the game and realizing that it's player-to-player -player and not just character-based interactions. So, It's good. That's a good option. If you do it, you get you get armor on it too, you know, if you up B in neutral there. And if they try to hit a bu option, you get, what, you got 20% for that? And it's it's worth the risk. I mean, you're at high percents. And the the neutral getup into up B. Okay. Wow. Call that air dodge with Nair. That was really good. It does come out quite fast. That wave land. This is sick. The, the neutral getup into up B. Okay. Air dodge it, it up till. Wave lands to look for an option, and barely misses his up air. If he had just drifted a little farther forward, or fared, or nared, he was gonna hit Sam Sora there. Fast. You can do it out of shield. There's another option. He's alive. But it it does come out quite fast. You can do it. Out of that's unfortunate. He just missed his. He just mixed up where Sam Sora was gonna land, because Sam Sora landed behind him instead. So Sam Sora got a float cancel bear here. Leo had the pressure. He just uh, mistook where Sam Sora was gonna be on his positioning. There's another option. He's alive Living though. though. He's alive. But we're talking about these turnips from Sam. More players need to do this. You people. A lot of players just won't. You know, just try to recover without realizing that they can still make it. You know, even Chrom players should start doing this as well, because look yeah, what happens here. Okay. It, it does this conversion, of course. He gets hit by it's Bear. He has to double jump here, so he can side B. He's alive, though. Gets hit by Turnip, but watch what he does right here. He's alive, though. He immediately directionally air dodges a little slightly up, because he knows that he can't make it otherwise. So he drifts forward, so that way... Talking about these turnips from... He can make it with up B. Oh. And that sweet spot was incredible. He's making it really hard for Sam Sora to kill Ike, and now he's sitting at 162. No. Even trying to use his counter to catch MK Leo, but MK Leo saying, I'm not gone yet. Oh my goodness. I think that was supposed to be down tilt. I really think that was supposed to be down tilt. His counter to catch MK Leo, but MK Leo saying, I'm not. He wave lands here because he knows that Sam Sora is going to put out an option or possibly tech on the platform. And here. Yeah. He was trying to down tilt the normal tech in place so he can get a punish for it. If he had down tilted and then up aired, Sam Sora probably would have died and Leo would have taken game one. Not yet. Oh my. But that was a misinput. So Leo realizes, jumps like, out. Expecting the, he expected the tech right there. But mm. playing, Sam Sora! Yet. Oh my. Expect Buffering a lot of defensive options here. Air dodge and the spot dodge. He's really scared of Leo he at this point. And gets punished again. Tech right there, he but does, it wasn't yeah. going to be enough. He gets. Oh, he looks for the almost, up air. Almost. Almost. Double jump up B. That was really good recovery on Leo's part. Yeah, and look at look at this pressure right here. 
he's hitting the back end of the shield because it's a lot more difficult to punish Ike when you're when he's behind you than when he's in front of you. And Ike has better pressure because unlike when he's in front of you where he only has Nair and grounded options, he has bear, which is absolutely scary. You to the far side, you want to go diagonally. Okay. Get the most distance. I think Samsoro wanted to turn around grab there. As you know, if you get hit by a move that sends you to the far side, right here. Side, you want to go nah, diagonally. right here. I think he wanted to turn around grab. But sometimes you just won't get that input. Once you, once we learn the inputs of this game, or if they fix certain things about the inputs, if is the keyword, then a lot of players will miss a lot less flubs. Because remember, it's Smash 4 input uh, habits in a new game with a different buffering system. Okay. Good fair to catch the jump. Good back air. <laughs> Don't think Leo meant to catch that turn up, but it worked out because he was just pressuring him with the back air. Too high. Can he get one little opening to start a combo? These famous same sword chains have been seeing all tournament. Good grab. He's getting grabbed the forward air. Yeah, he got punished for pulling out that turn up. Sam Sora floating around the ledge. Uh, I try to F tilt because I think Sam Sora would have peach bombered here. He was looking for a peach bomber either at ledge or on stage. But Sam Sora goes low. The ledge. He doesn't want to do an aggressive option into MKLeo, especially as he. That's, that's bad. That's a bad habit. That's Smash 4 all the way. Floating around the ledge. He doesn't want to. He rolls once, rolls twice. <laughs> I mean, it worked. But if Leo had been even fishing or even looking for the second roll, he would have won. But Leo was too busy looking for an air confirm. Great use of up air in neutral as MK Leo comes down. Back air. Samsora's almost dead. That won't quite kill, but the next Nair will lead into a kill combo, and now Samsora needs to... Uh, I think he tried to call off uh, a drop-off double jump option with this F-Tilt, or possibly he tried to look for neutral get-up a little earlier, or get-up jump. That was a good attempt on Leo's part. Samsora needs to be more careful than ever. You see it right here, not just a Nair, but a back air by the ledge as well. With uh, I don't know about that air dodge. I think he wanted a directional air dodge onto the platform, but he... He missed his analog input. We do it. Down throw into a nair. Nair. Okay. Air dodges. Bad. Starting up. Wait up air. Up air. Oh my. Very scary situation to be above Samsora. Oh, soft nair to come up with it. Oh. Oh, is that it? The back that air. back air, but not Samsora yet. DIs. Leo at a magic percent. You do not want to contest the man <laughs> at 69. He is at 125. Oh. Still staying oh, alive. No. The nair comes out. Oh, missing an up smash. And Samsora could have punished that. He did. He actually had missed the ledge. Samsora really oh, doing a good job and, oh my of gosh, avoiding these setups. Avoiding that pair. Oh, and no. the up Finally, gets the up smash here. Okay, I'm gonna go back like 20 seconds just for this whole interaction. Cause you know he get a he gets a really good juggle like here. As MK Leo comes down, that won't careful than ever. Cause he gets back. See it right here. Not just a nair, but a back air by the ledge as well. That that was a miss input. Gets punished for it. Do it. Down throw into a nair. nair. Double jump air dodge. Uh, Samsor was just fishing for it. Okay. So, another nair. It started. Uh, up airs to cover the landing. And nair wouldn't have worked there either, even though he tried to put out back air. Up. Wait a minute. Another nair. Oh my. Very scary situation to be above. So, that juggle was really good. Samsora. Oh, soft nair to come up with it. Oh, the back that air. That back air, but Samsora is going to be above Yeah, Samsora. so right here, Samsora almost oh. lost the game for his float. Oh, the back that air. back air, but Samsora DIs. Leo at a magic percent. You know. I know a lot of people are like, why isn't he going off stage against Peach? It's last stock, it's grand finals, and to be fair, it doesn't really matter for Ike in a lot of matchups because he has good options on the ledge that'll kill anyways. Unless he, like, hardcore calls the predictable recovery, or he knows Peach doesn't have a jump, so... I don't think it's worth it, and Leo didn't either, apparently. I want to contest the right here, he tries to call a jump, <laughs> rolls back when he realizes he misses, so. 69. He has a back air, Samsura does run up shield, smart on his Clyde. part. Still staying alive in there. Down throw Nair. Comes out. Oh. Mm, that was, if he had just gone a little lower, or Samsora got a little farther and figured out where Leo was trying to side B, that would have been the game right there, so. Oh, missing an up smash. And Samsora could have punched that. He did. He actually had missed the ledge. Yeah, late. Good attempt on Leo though. Up tilts to cover the landing. It's not like Leo isn't trying to do different things to kill Samsora. It's just Samsora keeps going to ledge, the one place where Leo can't get a free stock unless he commits to something. Oh. Tries to bait 
a get up jump option by running off stage, but Sam Sword has neutral get up shield. Like, and that's really hard to punish. Not just like in the previous game it was hard, but in this game it's even more difficult because you only have, I think, two frames to punish it, possibly one, depending on the character. Oh, and oh my gosh, narrowly avoiding that fair. Oh, and no! the up smash. Oh, he caught and That was good. To cross him up. That was good on like that was really good on Leo's part. So, it looks like, actually it looks like they're using the Genesis rule set at this event, which is interesting. I don't know if the Genesis rule set came out before or after this tournament happened, but even so, he, he probably been like Castle Siege and like Unova or something like that, so. What helped Sam Sora there was his advantage. Sam Sora's advantage was really important there. Now it's doing that, apparently. How are we gonna see it doesn't matter. I wanna see it. Are we going to see a reset? Okay, so Leo tries to wave land, gets hit by turn up. Leo Leo thinks wave landing is really good, but he's learning when it is and is not okay to use it, so he's using it a little bit too much right now. You know what? I'm calling it. After good right punish. Now, after good I'm punish. Oh my <laughs> That's an infinite, I think. But the problem is that it's hard to land in tournament. But still, this is good for Sen. A reset. You know what? I'm it. Down tilt, up right air, now, down tilt, seen. up air. That's a string. Oh my, the explosion here from Samsor from all these down tilts. And down the tilt, another up air, down tilt. For Peach, and yeah, that, that, that first game gave Samsor a lot of confidence. Now he's playing much more comfortable and trying stuff that, you know, by all accounts he should have been doing the first game. He just wasn't quite accounted for it yet. On these platforms with these up airs and these nair. Good fair for Leo. Like Good nair. <laughs> Leo's really controlling his space well. He's he's making Samsora respect the zone in front of him with nair and forcing Samsora to commit to an anti-air and not just put out a safe anti-air to punish Ike. <laughs> but they do. They cover so it's like we're talking about MK Leo. Good fair. <laughs> but they do. That that fair barely whiffing. They cover so it's like he also up airs to call a potential drop off platform. We're right here. Good fair. Leo using I He's using an immediate buffered fair off of flow cancel because he understands that Leo wants to cross up with Nair more than anything, and then Leo is not buffering options out of the ground. So he's just full hopping and then trying to cross up with Nair. Uh, he almost he almost had that. That turn up was good to cover a potential side B lower. And then he tries to up air to cover the up B high. A little late on it. It's really hard to cover that option. Placing himself at the right spot at the right time. Good flow cancel Nair. Right Sam Samsor is fishing for a lot of Leo's options and disadvantage. He's just missing it by a hair. Another up smash. At this point, he's figured out that up smash is really good to just stop Leo from doing that, especially kill percents. Because look, Leo keeps full hopping and then trying to fall with the cross up in there. And Sansor at this point is calling him out really hard for it. Hey Leo, the up smash again! He's gonna be using so much that it's worked wonders for him so far. And this is Nair, turn up throw. He he did <laughs> Again, again I don't so know it's worked wonders for him so far. If he was uh trying to catch the turn up there, but he did, and Leo immediately realized and it and threw turn up. Like he comboed that Nair into a turn up. And then try to combo it into something else. Discovery in the middle of the set, you're really gonna charge in front of Sam Sora like. Nah, okay. I get that it's hard, again, as a commentator to recognize a play-by-play -play situation sometimes, but the commentators mentioned now, and this right is what here. Happens when you have a discovery in the middle of the set. You're really gonna charge him. He, you know, oh, why are you charging an F smash? The problem is that either it was a misinput, Leo realized it and figured, hey, I'll hold it, and hopefully Sam Sora runs into it, or he was reading Sam Sora was going to drop off at that point in time to try to pick an option, and he didn't, so Leo again thought, I should just hold it. So he wasn't trying to charge it for, like, disrespect, and I don't think that's what they were saying, but he was just, he realized, I don't have, I didn't get the read I wanted, so I'm just going to hold this smash attack and hope Sam Sora runs into it. But Sam Sora is smart. He he knew he could just go behind Ike. Punish, like Nair, calls the dash attack. That was to cover a roll and a spot dodge, which is really really smart on Sam Sora's part. Yeah, 
Yeah, Sansor is playing smarter now, but Leo is still being Leo. Good use of an air to fair there. But remember, that's only going to kill Pito from round 110. Good fair. Uh, if Leo had spaced a little bit better or put out an air a little bit earlier, it wouldn't have worked. Uh, as you noticed, not just in this matchup, but in a lot of matchups, it's all about your timing. When are you putting out your options? When is your opponent putting out their options? Kind of thing. If you can get a fix on the opponent's timing, you can pretty much bully them all you want because it l it feels like to the opponent you're beating all their options and the matchup is oppressive. Good, he called that double jump. Back airs. He's like, watch this. You're going to try to double jump Nair, aren't you? Knew it. And Sansora calls him out for it. Back airs again because he needs to get a land on the platform and puts himself in a position where he won't get hit by Bear or Nair. Really, really good positioning on Sam Swartz's part. Three back airs. He, used to oh. yep. he uh, was a little late. He was looking for side B, tried to punish it, and missed. He had to, he had to use side B at that instant. And Sam Swartz hit him with a turn of back airs. And I think oh. here... He had to, he had to use side B at that instant. And Sam I think Sam Swartz was just like trying to put out an option and it just didn't read his input. Because look, he looks kind of disappointed there. Like, you know, something was supposed to happen and it didn't. I feel like there's a lot of times where him or Leo or other players will kind of stand there expecting an option to come out and it doesn't because you know the buffering in this game is still kind of new. He would have been dead, but going to be able to take some sort of stock right there. At that early percent, I think he was willing to get back. Good grab. Eight, that was a really bad fair on Leo's part. Stock right there. At that, really that was bad spacing. That was an easy show grab. Back air. Uh, I don't think he had a jump there. And I think Leo, uh, a side B because he thought he could make it, but if he had waited and just drifted up B, he could have made it. So that's just, you know, a, a mistake on Leo's part. It's not a huge mistake. He was already at a high percent, but still, it was a mistake. He could have lived longer. I'm not sure what that was. Leo might have messed up his recovery, got a little too short, and now Sam Sora with a full stock. Down throw up air. What a Covering turnaround. landings. The one thing about uh, Ike and juggling is that if you're a faster character, it's hard for him to cover horizontal distance so if you have like a good option like you know zss flip kick or even just like good air mobility like Krom, your best option is to drift to the other side of the stage against ike because his fastest burst option is like a dash dash forward dash attack or fair or he has to put himself in a position where he can like run to either side depending on which side you pick so Ooh, for thought. did you try to punish that first nair right here first nair he tries to float cancel Nair, that's way too slow of an option. If he had dash attacked, he probably would have punished him instead. Like out of shield dash attack. So. So he gets punished here. Tries to call a jump or a neutral get up, but Leo rolls. Or um, Samsora rolls. So that was a good option on Samsora's part. Right here is a good example of Ike's mix-up game. Maybe besides an 8-bit he could land empty hop grab, he could land Nair, or, in Leo's case, he decides to double jump to chase Sam Sora farther and Nair, because Sam Sora thought he was going to land at this point and already committed to a dash back, dash forward Nair, uh, Nair flow cancel Nair, and Leo punishes him forward. Missed the back air though, but doesn't let up. Uh, let me see. Air dodges. Tries to, I don't know if he was trying to parry there, or if he was just trying to hold shield or tap shield or whatever, but uh, just go down Leo's part, down tilting and keeping the pressure up. I feel like Sansora was trying to parry there though, so. Good follow up. That was good. That was a good nair. And if you notice, Leo's doing a lot of immediate nairs after nair to cover himself for nair. <laughs> that character's kind of dumb. I like the patience from Sansora. Ah, uh, that was a whiff. There was a lot of whiffs in that last couple of interactions. Whiffed grab, whiffed back air, whiffed nair, whiffed back air, <laughs> whiffed up air conversion. <laughs> this game is hard, dude. Once people get better at spacing, you're gonna get people are gonna get punished a lot more uh, often for stuff. But right now, it's it's you're gonna see a lot of whiffs even at top level play. I'm sorry, it just, it just this interaction kills me. Whip, uh, whiff, 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 hit, 
Whiff. <laughs> Alright, I guess the near to back here. I don't- why are you doing this? I mean, I get it, it looks cool. But there's no point! I mean, okay, maybe if he had Peach Bombered, or he tried to approach him there, it would have worked. But samsara has been going to ledge, and Leo should know this by this point. So Leo should be looking for an option on ledge, and not needlessly wave landing onto a platform. I get it, it looks cool, but it's unnecessary. It's like, you know, players in melee needlessly wave dashing, or, you know, dash dancing, or, you know, wave shining, unnecessarily. Like, don't get caught up in the tech skill, you know. Play the game. Even on town and city. Oh. Good Nair, calls the Peach Bomber. Not gonna, not gonna kill yet. Even on town and city. By the way, Ike's animation on his up air is crazy. Oh. Look, look at how he, like, swings his legs. Like, he sprawls his legs and flails his legs on the bottom when he goes for this up air. I just find that hilarious. Okay, it's even. Good pressure. Right here. Spot dodges the back here. Uh, Leo tries to grab, but Sam Sword just down tilts because again, Ike doesn't have fast grounded options. His best option is jab, and even then, I think it's like frame four or frame five. It's not a fast jab. Good fair. Good Nair back here. Uh, let me see. Uh, tries to flow cancel back here was a little too late on it, so Leo gets this punish. Good back here. Good fair to call the jump. Good turn up. Uh, good, good spacing on Leo again. Oh, uh, he tries to go for a grab. Sam Sora just knows when Leo wants to grab. I, you know, that doesn't mean Leo should stop attempting it, but it means that he needs to figure out what Sam Sora is looking for when he's looking for grabs, and then play around that. That's just top player uh, ad adaptation to each other. There's nothing more I can say about it. That's great awareness by Sam Sora. We now have a chunky sword at 136. Good double jump. This was this was good Sam escape. Sora, we now have a chunky sword. Most Ikes would nair. And a couple more Ikes would double jump there. But Leo was smart. He just double jumped away. Will be enough. Spot dodge. Tries to nair. Little little too late on it. So if he had short hop in there instead, he would have gotten it. But, you know, full hop nairing is safer. To kill him. Eddie. Good space. Dude, this spacing was sick. It as he Look at the spacing. It will be enough for Look at spacing. Oh my god. That is some immaculate spacing from Sam Sora's part. That's incredible. And he finds it as he flies off the ledge. Sam Sora, now the 2-0 leading grand finals. And you want to know what helped him win that set? Uh, not here. It was, it was right here. This, this really sick punish. Down tilt, Nair, down tilt, Nair, 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 That might have been true. <laughs> that might have all been true on Ike. Or even if it wasn't, uh, Leo couldn't have really done anything. You can try to air dodge in that situation. You can try to directionally air dodge in or down or away. And I would suggest doing that more often to see if you can at least get out of the situation at those kind of percents. But whether Leo tried to or didn't or didn't know, I have no idea. And either case, the point I'm trying to make is that was a crazy punish string by Samsora, showing how explosive Peach's punish game is. And it's why he won the first two games. Like, Samsora's punish game with this character is stupid. Like, it's stupid good. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna cream over this real quick. It will be enough for fair to kill him. And he finds it as he that's such good spacing on Sam Sora's part. Like that's that's so that's so good. Flies off the ledge, Sam Sora. Now the 2-0 leading grand. 2-0 leading grand finals. So the big takeaway I wanted from those first two games is that despite the fact that in all honesty, Leo wasn't playing bad at all. Sam Sora just had the top level adaptation and punish game to play around Ike's options and with Peach's explosive punish game was able to take two games when in all honesty he was losing neutral more often than he should have. He was losing neutral more often.
But that just shows how good uh, Samsora is in punish. And Samsora going up 2 Going back town and city. MK Leo confident. Town again. Confident that they can use these very three widely spread. Ah, uh, that falling up air? Or that flow cancel up air was probably to call Leo jumping. So, Leo just running up shielding and getting a grab. Platforms to find the answer he Fair. Needs. Good turn up. This is, this is a really good setup. Down throw, Nair, throws turn up in case uh you know he tries to drop down and go below him. And also so Leo can get rid of turn up so he can start you know using Ike's aerials again. And then uh, Sam Sora tries to do falling Nair, but Leo just Nair back airs. Mm. It's right here. Sam Sora runs out of space basically. And Sam Sora's biggest uh, advantage that he had against Leo and Ike in general was the fact that he had space to dash back and lift punish and he ran out of space here so he got hit so Samsora like kind of put himself in a corner here not saying that it's easy to get out of the corner against Ike or not to run away from Ike but good in there wow this conversion was sick look at this there, turn around back here. I would have gone for fair there because I would have been confident in the bear, but Leo with that next level strat. This is a bad peach bomber. Samsora is choking right here. Not choking, but he is panicking. I thought we were gonna see one of his Down throw. Uh, I'll throw might have been better, but hey, you know, you can you try new things, so. Calls the roll. That was just. He Leo knows how Sam Sora's defensive options are when he's playing under pressure. That side beam and kills. He, this, <laughs> the crazy thing is that Town and City has a bigger blast zone than Battlefield and FD, I believe, or at least the same size as Battlefield, and he still died. In neutral, and it actually hit he was below 100. Sam Sora with that side. And he died. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because Leo is sitting at a big fat zero percent right now. Nope. Another Nair. Probably. Air dodge. Still go Tries to grab. Uh, if Leo knew his facing a little bit better with the character, which will come with time, of course, he probably should have down tilted instead. But hey, at least he attempted to keep the pressure up. Like Leo hasn't lost his confidence despite being down two games. Going to. Leo is saying, disrespect me one more time and you will get zero to death on my watch. Do you know who I am? <laughs> do you know who I am? Good fair again. Uh, Samsora putting that out a lot, but he's also being careful not to do it too much because Leo will punish him for it. I can, oh. oh, he wanted he wanted a fair or a nair there, but he was a little too late. Okay, I just thought that was Good air dodge. Ike players need to do this more. Just players in general need to do this more. Um, I don't know if you've seen... I think there's a video out on it, but... There are frames of vulnerability for grabbing ledge after a directional air dodge. Most characters, it's three frames. Some characters, it's four. And some characters, it's two. Or one. Ike has two. So you only have two frames to punish him for air dodging to ledge. So that was really good on Leo's part. Little Mac has six, which is really sad because the character struggles enough. Stop MK, uh, uh, MK. Wow, I think he reacted to that neutral get up. Or that uh, missed tech. Nobody right here. I can, oh. Up okay, bees, air dodges, uh, looks at the counter, reacts to the counter and punishes, uh, reacts to the miss tech okay, Leo, and punishes, after hitting that side. and then uh, puts himself in a position where instead of continuing to approach Samsora, he just kind of says, all right, Samsora, now try to get your stage back from me. Uh, bad ledge, bad drop from Samsora. I, it's funny that people just say just parry. It's only five frames, and if you miss the parry, you get punished, like Samsora did here. Uh, good option from Samsora. Leia was a little late on this punish. He definitely wanted a back air, so he he was just a little late on punishing this back air. But it's just recess to neutral. Oh, tries to go for tomahawk grab off because he expects him sure to shield. So, all right, cool. I guess this upsets me. Sure. Is he dead? How did that even happen? Yeah. I don't know why he double jumped here. I saw him double jump and immediately buffer up B. He should have just uh, held up B instead. Because at least he could have saved his double jump. 
Pokemon so quickly. And the turnip, Samsora has found an And right there, he could have air dodged in and uh, up beat. Yeah, Samsora could have punished him by dr running off stage and fairing, but at least he should have tried. So I think uh, Leo was just kind of inconsistent on his recovery there, or he was he was focused on a different aspect of the game and didn't transition fast enough to recovery. So. Answer to that side beat. Why yep. should I like the best way to describe it is it isn't that Leo doesn't know what the optimal way to recover there is, or it's not like he'll look back on it and realize, hey, I should recover like this instead. It's just that he wasn't paying attention to it at the time. Because he didn't expect to be in that situation at that moment in time. I go out there, so my boy smiley face can do it for me. Tries to grab. Exactly. You got turnips at your side, you have nothing to worry about, especially when Ike is forcibly has to recover. Alright, good down throw screen. or a uh, down tilt fair. Another nair. Even it out, he gets a grab. He gets two. Ah, uh, double jumps at a bad spot there. Back here. Oh my he goodness! Wait. Okay, Leo makes it. It makes it back. back. He almost had to give an early percent right there. That would have been such a crazy turnaround for Samsora in that instance. He does get. That was a good reaction. Uh, doesn't die though. Up tilt. Beats his back air. Up tilt's really good at beating options. Is a great anti air with uh, Ike. You again, just right out of that percent window where it would have killed Samsora. Now it raises. And see, here's the thing, is Leo's not letting up on his pressure. Like, he's not giving Samsora a free option off ledge by committing too hard, and he's forcing Samsora to get back to st center stage, even if he picks an option. Because if you notice... Again, just right out of that percent window where... Samsora's picking neutral getup a lot. And Leo knows this. <clears throat> but he's like, okay, that's fine. Would have killed Samsora now get around Ike's aerials. This fair was a little slow. Um... <clears throat> now it raises peace that back here will do it. That's just that's just how it is. It, again, it comes down to timing, and Leo was a bit fast for that time. Leo looking for his first answer in this grand final set. Will he take a game and not be 30 to reset? Down throw, fair. Uh, Leo not going for up air in some situations because he understands that Samsora might be able to double jump or attack out after the up air. So, you know, he's playing the safer combo, which is smart because you have the lead and you're down two games. Not want that by any Calls the double jump there, though. And then expects him to, uh... Drift in with that, so that's why he F tilts. But you know, Samsora throws turn up and then Peach Bombers instead. Down to a fair, calls the double jump, the up airs. This is good frame trapping on Leo. This entire string. Nairs for the fair, covers. Double jump immediately nairs because he knows Samsora is trying Coming to retreat. Out. And then tries to up air for oh, a kill man. here. And yeah. then here, he has to land with lag. And Leo gets the grab. Did that kill? And then tries to go for another option. Even though Leo is not getting the stocks he wants, he's still keeping the pressure up and continuing to put pressure on Samsora. Oh no, he just jumped right out of it. He's not even going to try to contest him. But he he's not deterred by missing a follow up, if that makes sense. Because a lot of players will kind of just stop applying pressure if they miss the follow up they think they should have gotten. He's still contesting by these platforms. That was smart. Uh, jab 1 2 3 is really punishable, especially on the third hit. So Leo just did jab one two because he knew Samsora was waiting for the third hit, and that's a really good mix-up. You have to learn what your opponent is going to pay attention to, and then play around that, or force them to focus on one thing and then punish them when they're not paying attention to something else. I'm scared, Hbox. I, 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 I'm pretty tense right now. I just don't know. Because right here, Samsora is doing a lot of fares. He wants to punish Leo for jumping. Exactly. What? Uh... That dash attack was to punish Samsora for trying to fare all the time. And then Leo gets the grab here. Back throw. Good option. Eh. I think Leo wanted to run up short hop near there, but Samsora picked a good option to get off ledge. Aggressive fare. You know, it was it was worth it to attempt it, I guess. But um Samsora just playing safer now. Just how much mental damage that first zero death did. And MK Leo now used his lead to full advantage, saying, You're coming to me. Oh, see, so he's up tilting now to cover Samsora for jumping. Mrs. Princess, you are coming to my for jump fairing, specifically. Castle, and I am the dragon. Yup, and my up tilt is the answer here as they Good grab. In. But Samsora sending MK Leo off stage, almost getting that turn up. Uh, Samsora dashed back because he expected Leo to land with Nair. So, but Leo didn't fall for it. <coughs> Good falling, good uh, flow cancel up air. He can't take any more percent right here. He needs, oh man. Good down tilt. It is gonna be hard and yeah. 
He's just applying pressure on Samsoro in disadvantage, and he's not giving Samsoro the free neutral interactions he was used to getting in the first two games. Basically, Leo adapted. No, MK Leo, he's the right there. Back to Pokemon. You can't gentlemen at previous stages. I don't know if they were using DSR this set, but in either case, it doesn't really matter. It's more of a player thing than a stage thing. He says, I gotta get back to what I was doing the first two games. I gotta get back. I gotta not get zero death. Falling near. Nice jab. jab. It doesn't fight quite fine. An early uh, was that fair safe? Nice near to jab. It doesn't fight quite fine. No, it wasn't. An early he definitely had time to turn up there. String yet. That dash also misses. Both players still become <coughs> aware oh, excuse me. of what their openings are each single time. Uh, Samsoro's hesitating on some of his punishes now. Like right here. Both players still becoming even more aware constantly of Like this was an easy whiff punish and Samsoro ducks. What their openings are. And then he does like falling up air. Or like flow cancel up air. You know, and I get it, it's stressful. It's a really high stress situation right now. Because you, you dropped a game and you don't want to drop this set because you have to play one more. But it just comes down to, you know, you have to go for your punishes. Each single time. We're seeing things that neither player and gets punished because he picked a bad option on shield. Was doing even in game one. And another okay, grab, another grab. That should not have been a turnaround grab. That was a mistake on Leo's part. I don't think he meant to do that. I think he meant to just dash grab. Second fair didn't quite hit. A little too low from Leo to reach. Yeah, we saw that from the last game. Leo Good Nair. Immediately shields so that way he doesn't get hit punished by turn up. Uh, Samsora with a bad roll here, I think. Nair, miss, bad roll, bad roll, smash four habit. Another, look, he rolled two more times here. Roll. Shields, trying to punish. Roll, roll. Like, like you, it, it doesn't work like that in this game. You know, I, I, it's, it's scary, but he got punished here for that. Again, Leo just wave landing here for no reason. Like why? <laughs> The only thing I could think of is Leo is thinking to himself, oh, I don't want to go off stage against Peach, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice wave landing and just wait for him to get to ledge, and then I'll pressure him. That's the only thing I can think of. But other than that, there's no point to be wave landing in that situation. Nair exactly up air, because uh, Samsora right did what? Drop off double jump turn up? Yeah. Good up air. Yeah, this is good pressure from Leo because the stage is really big and it's you know Peach doesn't have the fastest fall speed, so Leo can put a lot of pressure on. And a fair, the no meaty land part. zone. There is a no land zone here against MK Leo as he. That was a good no roll from Leo. Zone. There is a no land zone here against MK. Look, Leo. Leo rolls once and instead of rolling twice, he just dashes back. As he manages to catch Sam uh, tries to fair to get uh, get in on Samsora. Side B, interesting. If you notice, look at how they're playing neutral right here. Look at how much space they're giving each other because they're just looking for an opportunity to get in. It's much more footsies based than previous Smash games from what I've seen. Actually, I take that back. It's the kind of footsies I would expect from certain Smash 4 matchups, such as uh, maybe like, you know, Captain Falcon, so to speak. Just really, really spacey, you know, uh, space outs before you approach with an option. Anyways, uh, Leo gets his fair. Down throw fair. Or down tilt fair. Good dare. Why does he keep hitting him and why can't I kill this blue haired devil? Forward air coming out, still safe. Turn up doesn't hit, he whiffs the punish. Smash. Oh and no! Good cover on that tech. Out, Check this safe. out. Turn up doesn't hit, he whiffs the Nair punish. Nair knows he's gonna tech and he covers like literally like oh. three options here. Oh and no! That was the punish, but Leo getting so much off of that. Uh, that was the good old Smash Ultimate tech. Turn up doesn't hit, he whiffs the punish. Oh and no! That was the punish, but Leo gets they both grab at the same time right here. Right here, break up. So that 
I like that because it means it doesn't. It's not whoever grabbed first gets the grab. So much off of that <laughs> and they both buffer grab again. <laughs> on the platform. It's just showing how heavy Ike is. Oh, how heavy Ike is. Two side Bs. He Good job back saving on. your jump, he Leo. The near trade, but doesn't quite find it. The shields are whittling down. You saw this episode. Went for the ups. Good wave land. This was a good wave land. By the way, look here how uh, Leo is shielding immediately. Because the worst thing that Samsora can do after Ike nares and holds shield is go for a committal grab. So, all you Ike players, if you want to put pressure people but you're struggling to pressure them, get behind them with nair and then shield afterwards and force them to grab. Or, they most typically would just pick a defensive option and just roll away and you reset to neutral. Tries to dare? Interesting. And then Samsora panics. Not panics, but he saw the dare and just buffered spot dodge because he thought he'd get hit by it. Shields are whittling down. You saw Samsora went right here. Good wave land. For the up smash he knows. Because it gets above him. Knows that Leo is going to be jumping around his shield. I love the fact that Leo. He's been side being in neutral semi often. I think he's using that as a burst option. That's something that I might start doing personally. I think it's really good actually. So it's incorporating wave landing into his play on this platform. That subtle movement might be. The Alright, good space. A wave lands again and tries to pressure from above. I don't think that's a good idea against Sheik, but hey, he hasn't gotten punished for it, so why not, you know, why not keep doing it? I don't know about that roll. A lot of, um, a lot of players will roll after pressuring and realizing that they might lose stage or have lost stage, so they'll roll into stage because they want their stage control back. Good dash attack. Uh... Okay, so the thing is, is that Ike side B is near is not nearly as easy to punish as you think it is. People think, oh, just react to it and punish, but it, there's almost no lag on it after you land, so it's actually kind of obnoxious to punish, and you could die for it. Turn up and still makes 100. it back to the stage. He's at two hundred percent. Two hundred six. Turn up and right still here? makes it back to the stage. Nair. He's at two hundred percent. tries to jump that time, but uh, Sam Sora gets in there that time. Two hundred six. One of the highest that we've seen. Good parry. And then there will do it right there for right. Samsora. Still at 71. We've seen him win these early on. As long as it's not at 100, it still is almost Good punish. Game. Good fair. Looking grim right now. Just covering uh, Samsora on the ledge. Oh, uh, I think he expected a different option. Did not expect Peach Bomber. Got hit for it. hit for that Peach Bomber. Adair will continue it. And that soft, tiny, really quick up air didn't quite connect. But that would have been the start. I'll try to fair. Combo. Good turn up from Samsora. If you notice, when... Um, Players are pressuring shield, they're not attempting to punish out of shield anymore. I feel like too many Smash 4 players are still trying to punish out of shield, and Samsora and Leo have realized at this point that there's some options you just have to leave alone and then just try something else instead. Grab with Toad getting involved the back air, and now the Down throw the back air. Even. <clears throat> uh, Leo tried to back air there, but Samsora's back air is faster. So. You were talking about that. Down throw into back air, and Samsora just trying to space himself out with his very own fares on shield. Another bad rule. But maybe rolling behind MK Leo wasn't a good idea. Idea as he gets sent off stage here. Didn't quite go for the upper. And right here. Uh, just Leo trying to pressure. He's not even attempting to punish normal getup because of how hard it is. Which I kind of agree with. He's just looking for a different option. But you should at least try to challenge it once in a while so Sam Sora doesn't keep picking it. Dude with the four comes up first. Oh. Uh, if he had near there, he might have gotten a kill. But good fair. My goodness. They're, <laughs> they're staying so far away from each other. They know. <laughs> They know what's coming to Who's going to space the fair first? That's literally what's oh! going to Again, that's the second time. <laughs> they, know. they know what's coming to Who's going to space the fair first? That's Same Sora was a little off the money. Literally what's oh! going to and he no! died for it. Side Hitting Sam Sora as he tries to hit MK Leo with the turn up. Sam Sora now at his last, well, the last talk of the match. He still has a 2-1 lead in the set, but he knows if he's going to get... He uh, mixed up his timing on that Nair. Sam Sora tried to drop shield, possibly to parry it, and... Leo just mixed up his timing and got the nair for it. Keeps it a little cool. <clears throat> does have such strong Waits for the spot dodge, react grabs. Especially I get one up air. Oh, that was such a good float. If he had tried to land, he would have gotten hit by up air again. Is, Another grab. Fair. Like, Ike has such good confirms off of grabs until higher percents. Because he can still get 50 50s off of up throw until like 100. And he has guaranteed confirms off of down throw and up throw until like 70 ish. Leo's impeccable defensive play. 
He's waiting for him. Good he's Nair going, up there. I think he was waiting for a defensive option there, but Samsora dared instead. So good uh, mix up on Samsora's part. Yeah. Like the fact that Samsora contested that with a down air, especially at 77%, no f Good back air. Uh, good uh, air dodge from Samsora, though. From the up air. I feel that up smash might come out. I feel a strong, super, just high brave move might come out. He's at rage right now, too. 139, almost full rage. Uh, another fair. Might come out. He's at rage right now too, 139, almost full rage. Yeah, One. just chasing him down. 54 will be full rage for Ike. You do not want to get by basically anything that Leo offers. I like that option. Check this will option be full out. Rage for Ike. You do not want to get by base Immediately double jump wave land down. Basically anything that Leo offers at this point. That's really, really fast. In fact, I think it's faster than normal get up. You want to stay your distance. You want to hold your ground. You want to will that. Good wait. Uh, Leo didn't drop shield though because he did not want to die. He's forcing Sam Sora to work for this kill basically and to commit to something. Shield down and just play it. Good dash attack. He knew Sam Sora was uh trying to play a very specific. He had a very specific space that he wanted to keep Leo at, and Leo invaded that space with dash attack. <gasps> Yeah, Leo's just not risking it, not going off stage. I can I can see why players like Leffen might get annoyed by the fact that you're not going off stage and not not attempting it because that might be an underdeveloped part of the meta for a while. But at this point in the game, with this kind of stakes, I can see why they're not doing it, especially with the characters involved. Six, but man, those are the Peach Bomber. Peach Bomber. Not the strong one, though, Winky Face. Yeah, right there. That's really hard, because look, he slides out of it immediately. He slides, doesn't hit his shield, doesn't go to ledge, barely goes above him, and immediately gets to jump out of it. Like, you can't be like, oh, just punish a reaction. It's, it's, it's not easy at all. Good spacing. And I, uh, Leo's immediately, like, retreating. Fair, immediately dashes back, and doesn't hold shield to give uh, Sam Sora a chance. And then he holds shield. Like, this is just good play from Leo, and that he's not giving Sam Sora a chance to punish him. Fair on shield. Good fair. Oh my goodness. Leo's using a lot of full hops again. Uh, Sam Sora doesn't want to risk an up smash or a flow cancel up air, because that won't beat Leo's options if Leo puts a short hop option in front of him. This, this download from MK Leo right now. Almost back airs in there. Air, still not enough to kill Gets the bomb. bomb. Careful. Gets a bomb. Careful, SpongeBob. Careful. That's unfortunate. No Something face. else I noticed oh, though. My goodness. This download from MK Leo right now. And Jumps right here. I don't understand why Leo's. Actually, I take it back. I think I understand because if he doesn't jump and tries to hold side B, he actually dies, which is really because I can't carry his momentum with side B. So it's not. Because he can't recover from that position without jumping, it's because he'll die if he doesn't jump from that position. So I kind of take back some of what I said. There were some situations where he probably didn't need a double jump, but now I understand why he's double jumping in that situation. The forward air still not enough to kill the bomb. Ball. That was a good landing on that platform. He didn't land on stage, or because he knew Sansaro would punish him, so he lands on a platform instead for a mix-up. Careful! Gets a bomb. Careful! And Leo showing no feel, just back airs, because he knows that Sam Sora is also under pressure, because that doesn't want the bomb to blow up in his face. SpongeBob, careful, he SpongeBob! He oh hit no! MK Leo at the same time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hbox and Vicky getting really hyped for this set. It's reasonable. Sam Sora going up two games. His explosive punish game really came in for him, but at this point, uh, I would say his punish game has kind of fallen off a little bit. And probably because he's tired. He played a lot of sets. And uh, also because Leo is adapting and forcing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I love Vicky's face. Like, Hbox is. Hbox is like going on and on and on. And she's just. She's just flabbergasted. Oh, oh, that kills me. No. All right. Fair. Uh, the color swap. I I respect it. Does that two spot dodges? I love how they're like, oh, we stalled uh, options in this game, but 
I don't think what they realize is that players would never buffer more than two defensive options at the same time anyways. Even in Smash 4, you, the most you would ever see out of a player is three rolls. And there's not enough staling on those options to discourage players from rolling three times in this game. It works, so you don't have excessive rolling all the time, especially since dashing is better. But for those situations where top players want to get out, it still works to spot dodge three times or roll three times or spot dodge, roll, spot dodge, basically. So in my personal opinion, they need to put a bit more staling on the second and third rolls so that way people can get punished a little bit easier for doing multiple rolls or multiple spot dodges in a roll. Because I think it's not okay that you can still spot dodge two or three times to get away with it, basically. Double spot dodge coming from Leo. See, even the commentators notice that uh, spot dodge, double spot dodge. All right. Dash attack. Uh, trying to invade va lay, uh, Sam Sora's zone here. But you have to really, really know where you're going to be at, and have to overshoot really far with that dash attack. So. Roll back. Same sword gets the grab. Down throw. Fair. Good punish. Uh, Same sword doing a lot of flow cancel up airs, but it's just not trading with uh, Leo's options. Like, it's just not beating Nair. And the problem is, I think Fair is kind of committal, and Sam Sora knows this too, which is why he's trying to do uh, up air instead. But unfortunately, it's not working. Interesting. Tries the fair to cover an option. Shields the double jump fair. I thought for sure he would try to immediate bear there, but maybe Leo thought he didn't have enough time. And it might not have worked, who knows. So Leo just kind of jumps away. So easily. He's staying on that platform. Yep. Back to neutral. Wave land forward. There's some situations where I don't agree with it, but most of the time in neutral, Leo picks a good time to wave land. Another wave land. Good fair. Leo's getting better about fishing for these jumps and figuring out which options are working. Good Nair to get the normal get up. Ah, bad rollback. That was a bad rollback because he won a stage. He should have dashed back instead. But, you know, it is what it is. Double jumps. Back airs. Good cover to ledge. Good roll to ledge. Another double jump to wave land. Drop off double jump wave land. That's not... You, I don't think you react to that. That's a good option off ledge. Just in case he was going to recover up high. I like what he's doing right there. He's doing a ledge hop and then an um, air dodging completely yep, straight right down. There. Oh my god, the second hit of the dash attack actually had hit. That actually would have been stock. Can we talk about how high this percent that MK Leo has been living at? 200, 180, 190. It's just like... <laughs> Hbox is right. It's really, really hard to kill Ike's Peach because if he holds shield a lot and make sure he doesn't get hit by like your meaty aerials, like your fair... Or um, they're off stage. You really struggle to kill Ike as Peach. I, I can't tell if that's a percent of my blood pressure right now because he lives <laughs> over and over. And right now, Sam Sora Good spot to dodge. Keep the first stock that More like had. a panic spot dodge. Not panic, but Nair comes to jump. That was actually a really smart drop down shield from Leo. Because here, he gets the air dodge and understands that he doesn't have an option fast enough that will kill Sam Sora or cover an aerial. So what he does is he drops down, immediately shields, and then punishes the spot dodge. So Leo knew that he couldn't punish air dodge. He knew that he was, Leo was going to come down with an aerial and then spot dodge. So he thought like three steps ahead and punished all of that. Great situation, but great air dodge from Sam Sora. And this, these are the platforms that you were talking about that Leo loves so much. Another bad roll from Sam Sora. I, 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 both of them are doing it, but Sam Sora is doing it more. Like you can't, you can't be, <coughs> you can't be doing that. Rolling the stage is not the way to get stage back. Great, near to back. Especially against Ike because he has near to cover it. Back here, he's still gonna live at 113. And right now, oh, 
good fare to beat the like option. Trade the trade here was good. Short, jump up, uh, if he was a little bit later, he could have gotten the punish, but good on Samsora. Yeah, Samsora is trying to apply pressure to Leo, but Leo's just jumping instead. So Samsora has a hard time because he wants to keep Leo grounded because that's where Samsora functions the best. But Ike doesn't really stay grounded for long. It actually does reach below the ledge. Yep. So scary is that? But against Parasol, good backer. I'm not sure how will be do it test. for MK and Leo. Evening out the stocks right now. Samsora is getting a lot of these turnips out, but a lot of them are going to shield. But notice the one time it hits, gets a nice dash back into it. Bad nair. What are we gonna see from them, Leo here? Nice friend. Leads to conversion. It only does 19 though. He just actually does more. Good parry. They're controlling each other's space because they both want the same thing in this matchup. They both want to hit them with the aerial and outspace the other guy by either putting out the option first or outspacing it. Basically, whiff punish it. All of this top eight. Turn up. Dash attack. Leo's been really smart about retreating back to center stage most of the time, and he's not overcommitting, and that's really smart by uh, Leo, because he understands that Ike doesn't have good close quarters combat moves, so he's just retreating back to Ike's optimal range, which is outside of Nair. It's not exactly this time to go in. Good down yeah, tilt, Nair, that's why you saw he or down tilt fair. As well. Tries to pressure, misses. It was still worth going for if he had drifted a little more to the right. You gotta keep it safe. This is game five. It's the turnip. He doesn't have a jump. Oh my! That was really good. Leo tried his best to space it as well as he could, but that was just a good counter from Samsor. He finally got it. He deserved it after missing it a couple times during this set. God, oh, what? Samsor perfectly what? spacing that counter. That's what he's been trying to do forever. Yikes. Uh, that was actually a, a decent read from Leo, but Samsor picked roll, so it was a good attempt because Samsor was always picking neutral get up or drop off get up double jump or like get up jump so it's supposed to cover those options so I have no qualms about Leo picking that option Samsora just knew and picked the right option but gets the punish misses the grab though and right there, he didn't have a jump. good empty hop so check this out tries to get the follow up here misses right full hops for pressure see Samsora shield empty hot grabs Good reaction. Alright, he's up airing. This is frustrating. He's trying to pressure him with uh, flow cancel up airs, but the problem is that <laughs> sometimes I could just get to get the trade. Okay, and die for it. You see, Sam Sora's frustrated about that. Other, I guess aggravating. Sixty-nine. Nice. Alright, Leo's uh, moving a lot more now. Mentally even right oh. now. He throws out the mentally space. even. Indeed. Oh, this is right now. Sam Sora looking good. Good back air. Uh, bad back air from uh, Sam Sora's part. Leo holding shield. Uh, tries to pressure him with like back air, up air there, but uh, gets clipped. Uh, good turn up. I noticed that if like Sam Sora is not holding a turn up, then a lot of Ike's stuff is safer, especially if you space it. But if Sam Sora is holding a turn up, then it isn't safe. Back air. Down to. This hurt. I saw this live and this hurt because Samsora was definitely holding out to try to grab ledge after Pete using Peach Bomber on stage and because he was holding out when he got hit, he ended up DIing bad because the game uh, saved his DI buffer. Basically saved his uh, buffer to the right. So he died at like unreasonably early percent. No! Oh, no! Because right here, that was a good nair from Leo. He short hop nares instead, and it's still combo. Oh, it. oh my God, near the back. And then look, Leo putting out pressure. I think he tried. I think he wanted a back air there, but Leo didn't think he had enough time, so he just dropped off in uh, down tilt instead. And Samsora wanted to grab ledge here and miss ledge basically. Oh, oh, no! And it is no! uh, that was really informative. Uh, <laughs> 
I did not expect this recording session to be this long. An hour and 20 minutes for a 20 minute set? Either I had a lot to say that was important or I just babbled way too much. Anyways, um, I hope you guys appreciate it. Again, you know, I'm just doing what I can, being as insightful as I can for, you know, the level of knowledge I have, but I'm no top player, so I'm probably going to make mistakes on analysis here or there. But let me know what you guys think.